Hey guys, this is me, Hannah, and I'm doing a PSA video of saying no to drugs. You see, drugs are dr drugs are bad to your health. And they have some really bad harms on your body part and your body parts, including your liver. Not only that, but drugs can affect your long term health. Harms like taking part of risky behaviors such as drink driving, changes in or changes in behavior such as mood swings or increased aggression towards others, impacts on sleep or experiencing insomnia, cognitive memory problems, reduced appetite or not, Eating a balanced diet, regular colds and blues, long-term health impacts such as liver kidney and heart problems or cancer, depending on the type of drug used and how frequently it was used. Dental health problems. <laughs> Cavities or gums disease, mental health issues, such as anxiety and depression, dependence, overdose, psychosis, infectious disease, from share injecting equipment, damage, damage to veins from unsafe injecting practices, Clinical work or social problems, these are the harm. These are the harms from drug use on you. That is bad for your health and bad for your body. <clears throat> and now on to the effects of common drugs. It's See the effects on the effects of common drugs. Hmm, let's see here. Though hmm. you may have have the car that that may cause relaxation or the perception. Can lead to increased heart rate and blood pressure. Can make you feel relaxed and happy, but it can also cause legacy anxiety, paranoia, and vasculitis in extreme cases. A history or family history of men of mental illness may increase the possibility. Of more extreme psychiatric reactions is linked to mental health problems such as sexopenia and when smoke and when smoked to lung diseases such as astasmia, chronic bronchitis in lung. Throat, mouth, and tongue cancer affects how your brain works. Regular use can make it hard for you to concentrate. It learn to retain information, reduce the fluidity when me and it's mixed with tobacco. It's like to increase the risk of heart disease. It is. Tobacco is likely. Tobacco is likely to increase 
the risk of heart disease and lung cancer. So whatever you do, do not take any drugs. They are bad for your health and your body. You can get into serious trouble. Like, you might go to jail or for doing drugs or waste. If you, people are watching this PSA video out there, say no to drugs. But if you want some help of how to stop doing drugs, you can see this, you can go to this website to help you. Now let's see here, hmm, if you're thinking of taking steps to stop taking drugs or cut down, don't be afraid to reach out for help. It's much easier to make positive changes when you got to help and support from other people. You could speak to your doctor about your worries. They'll be able to help you. They'll be able to give you advice and useful information. Or you can talk to your family and friends about your drug use. Asking for help can, can make a big difference, especially in the first few weeks. And find your nearest drug service. You can search for your nearest service and look at, at treatment options further down the page. And, or maybe, join a peer support group like Natronics Anonymous or Curtain Anonymous. And, or if you have a dependency, please speak to a professional before stopping using Sindely so you can carefully manage withdrawal symptoms. Let's head back down. Ah, here it is. Once you made you and here are some tips to start to reduce or quit taking drugs. Once you decision, keep a drug diary. Make a note of of when you use what you take and how much it's also worth including when you were who who you were uh, with that with that and you and what you've been doing before and see if you, you can spot any patterns in your diary in your diary you might always use around particular people or after heavy Drinking. If you can, if you can figure out the people, places, and things that trigger your drug use, you can begin to make a plan. You might want to cut some some triggers. You might want to cut some triggers out entirely, or avoid any. Accommodations that give you cravings. 
and take your time and take your time if you need to. Gradual reduction is often the best way to quit. And take time. Take your time if you need. And be kind to yourself and celebrate each step towards your goal, no matter how small. Oh. Don't feel guilty about any setbacks e either. It's a process of in and every challenge is an opportunity to learn about yourself. And if you and if you start having cravings on drugs, distract yourself for a few minutes. Mindfulness or meditation apps and videos like this one are good distractions. Have a look. And always remember that that you are not alone. There's a lot of support online and other people who are similar positions to you. And there you have it. My tips of of how to stop taking drugs. So if you want to stop taking drugs or quit taking drug use or stop taking drug use or even stop drug use go to Google and search up these two websites though Though stopping drugs can make a world a better place. It'll make you make you feel happy. In fact, it'll make everyone happy. Well, this is me, Hannah Payne, signing off. And remember, quit taking drugs, stop using drug use, And don't take drugs. And don't use drug use. And don't ever, and I mean, never ever, never. Eh? Take drugs. They're bad for your health and your body. So, stop taking drugs. And most importantly, say no to drugs. It's always important to say no to drugs. Well, this is this is it for, for this PSA video. Bye-bye. And remember, say no to drugs.